Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. So I'm going to be starting or continuing this course, the T-level Digital Production Design and Development. And you might be thinking, which course is this and what is it replacing? This is essentially replacing the BTEC Level 3 Information Technology course. In my humblest of opinion, I do not think that the T-level course is a good replacement for the BTEC course because a replacement would indicate that one of them is going away. The old one, which is a BTEC one, is going to completely be removed and the T-level course is going to be used as its replacement. Now, I've taught the BTEC course. I've taught level two IT, level three IT, and I've also taught A-level computer science. And in my humble opinion, I do not think that this T-level course is a good replacement for the BTEC level three course. I think the BTEC level three course can be run alongside the T-level course for more able, more capable students who don't want to do an A-level because I think this T-level course is way, way, way harder than the A-level. This is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. I might be completely wrong. As I said, I've taught the BTEC course, I've taught the A-level course, and this is a stretch above the A-level in my opinion. I'm going to try not to dive too deeply into this. However, I just wanted to quickly give people an overview of what these courses actually entail. So for example, this is the original or the old BTEC level three IT course. I'm going to be looking at the extended diploma, which is the one on the right hand side so if you look to the very right where i'm highlighting stuff that's the one i'm going to be focusing on this has the most guided learning hours and this is the one that gives you essentially the equivalent of three a levels that will take you to university which is similar to what the t level does so the t level gives you essentially again the three a levels that will take you to uni so let me go back into the spec this is the specification by the way um, i'm not sure which date this one is but they haven't changed it in, in like 10 years so you don't really need to worry about that i'll put the link in the description so if you want to go there and download it you're free to go ahead and do that on the right hand side we have the M meaning mandatory and the O meaning optional. So the things that you must do if you do the extended diploma are unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four. So the top four must be done. On top of that, you have unit nine, which is project management. You have unit 11, which is cybersecurity. And you have unit 14, which is IT service delivery. I think this extended diploma or any one of these variants is set up very very well to teach young people the set up the core set of skills they'll need to go to uni to do maybe a foundation degree or even first year there's nothing wrong with this course other than the fact that it needs to be updated because everything in here is something that's relevant to some sector of it and i say this to people all the time it has so many different sectors that it can probably be compared to medicine where you have surgeons that do this surgery only that surgery only and this IT is more or less the same thing. It has so many different sectors. Now, if I go back over to the T-level stuff, these are the things that you would have to do in the T-level thing. It's not very well uh, divided here, but I'm going to try my best to try and explain it. The way I've divided it in my head is you have core component one, which is the first paper you have to do, and they tell you what topics are going to be on there. You have core paper two or core component paper two. Again, the same thing. These are both written examinations. So that's how I divide it. That's part one, in my opinion. Part two is going to be employer set project. So this is an externally given thing. You're given this project by the exam board, the employer, whoever, right? Don't worry about that for now. And then finally, we have the occupational specialist component. So I think this can be divided into three parts. So again, we have core paper one and core paper two. I think that's one component separate to itself because these are both written exam papers. Then we have the ESP is known as, which is the employer set project. And we have the OSP, the occupational specialism or the occupational specialist project. The reason I don't think that this is a good replacement for this course, because when you look at the past exam papers and the resources that they give you, what people have to do in a very short amount of time in an exam, for example, ESP or, or the, um, the OSP, what you have to do in a six hour or a four hour period of time is very, very tricky for some people. And for someone to go from B10 level knowledge to then T level level knowledge is going to be a massive, massive gap. Now, this is not me saying that this course is not good. This is me saying simply that this course should not be a replacement for BTEC level three. I think this is an amazing, wonderful course for some students, but for people who are able to access BTEC level three stuff, this is a massive jump. If you're not able to access BTEC level three stuff, you definitely won't be able to access this. If you're not able to access A level stuff, you're not going to be able to access this. I think in my opinion, again, I really like the way BTEC is set up. Again, the course is the units do need a lot of updating for both the BTEC level three IT and the BTEC level three computing. And I say that reason, one of the reasons I really do like the way that this is set up, the BTEC level three IT and computing is that everything is segmented. So you can link things together. For example, we have to do project management, I think. Uh, yes. So unit nine project management must be done. We can easily link this to something like programming. We can easily link this to something like website development and people learn different bits and pieces of 
IT so that they can form a better opinion of whether this is something that they want to continue or not. Because some people, after doing this course, they think, actually, I don't want to do computing. I want to, I want to do this different sector of IT. Whereas I find, or I think that the T-level stuff is very, very computer science heavy. This is not an IT course. It's simply computer science turned up to 10. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was useful. Like and subscribe. More T-level stuff coming.